Hello guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to yet another episode. This is episode 5 of trying to know your favorite YouTubers in Nyabuanse village. And uh, my name is Ayam underscore Ken God, travel commander number 2. Let me welcome you all to, to today's episode. Uh, if you are watching this for the first time, thank you so much for coming. Make sure to subscribe. To all my returning subscribers, thank you so much. So uh, today I had an amazing opportunity to meet the one and only African village cook in bracket T. That's how I always tag you on my mm -hmm. on yeah. when posting. African so, village cook, African tea travels. Uh, underscore T. Yeah. So how are you doing? I'm doing well. Yeah. Yeah. Physically, uh, emotionally, mentally. Okay. <laughs> Everything is all right. All yes, around. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. You're glad. Yeah. Uh, sometime back, uh, I saw you were uh, giving us uh, some nice videos from the beach, bikinis. Mm -hmm. I was really liking on the. I was really liking them on Instagram. Eh? Well, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. T, uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Mm. So actually, uh, I started doing this kind of. Uh, podcast yes. where I'm interviewing all the YouTubers, mm. their life history from childhood. Yeah. You were on the YouTube, mm. we just want to get to know you from mm. your childhood, mm. where were you born, yeah. yeah. where did you grow up, mm -hmm. how, was your, how was your life during your primary school, mm -hmm. high school, mm -hmm. from high school, mm -hmm. and so on and so on, until now. Yeah. So. I, I think have this a is crazy the... story. My story will not end. It's like a uh, movie. I, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Mine so, is like a movie. So, T, I want, I want you to now narrate for us the movie. Yeah. So, who are you? Let's say someone is watching Should you for the first time. Should this story go to Can God's channel or my channel? <laughs> maybe, maybe both. Because <laughs> this is, this is uh, it, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Just be But we'll, we'll say what we can say. I'll say what I can say. Just, just guys, uh, <laughs> as I, uh, I told you earlier, mm. this is not a platform to judge someone. Yeah, 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 we are true. just here to tell you mm. what we feel. Know somebody's life. Know somebody's right? life, so that maybe you, you can't you you don't judge someone. Maybe mm. if you see someone doing such kind of a thing, yeah. just know it's maybe it's life experience. What mm. happened on the past? Yeah, right. there's nothing to judge about anyway. So yeah. don't worry. <laughs> so no, <laughs> okay. So yeah. T, yeah. who are you? So I'm T. I like to call myself T. I've been given so many names. I've used Tina. I've used Christine. I've used uh, Aziz. So it depends where I am. So from town to town, <laughs> you know, my name is Christine. So I have a sister Christine. called Christine. I yeah. I told you sometime yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. She's in so Kong too. Christine mm -hmm. can be divided in so many um, in small sub names, yeah. sub names. Yeah. So I use T, Tina. Uh, Tina with A, Tina with H. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes I use Chris. I don't like Chris because he sounds like a man. man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. So that's that's me. I'm from Kisumu and I live in Yabuhanze. Okay. Yeah, I'm a Luo. Those who don't know, you know, if you say Kenya, mm. we are all Kenyans. We are all Africans. But there's 70, 47, 47, 47 tribes, tribes in, Kenya. in Kenya. So I'm one of Luo. Luo is on the western side from Kisumu. I mean, Kisumu, Homa Bay, all those who know, yeah. around the lake yeah. of Victoria. Yeah, so that's where I am. You want to know? That's where, where I'm from. Okay. Where were you born? Uh, I think I was born in Kericho. Those who know Kericho. I was yeah. born in Sotik, a village called Sotik. Oh. Yeah, in Kericho. But that was just a hospital because my father was working there. Okay. Then... Uh, of course, you moved back to Kisumu, I guess, because I was very young. I didn't know, but that's the story I had. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, from from Sotik, Kericho, mm. to Kisumu. Yes. You are, you are, you are, you are... A baby. As a baby. <laughs> as a baby. Yeah. Your school, primary school, where did you learn? So, How did you go? I actually went to like three schools in primary. The reasons are because my parents separated when I was born, right? My mom and uh, dad i think they were just friends for two years then i was born right oh. so my dad uh i don't know they separated reasons cannot be told <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah but i had reasons which are not important they know why so i grew so up are they still my... together no okay like they separated and it ended like that okay Continue. when i was still i think months or one year Whoa. yeah okay. so 
I went to a primary school. The first one was Rangala Girls. Rangala Primary. Rangala Girls Primary School. Oh, I know where Rangala is. Then uh, this is when I was living with my grandpa, my grandparents. From which side? Mom or dad? From mom's side, of course. From mom's yeah, side. Yeah, because when you're young and your parents separate, you always go to the, to the, the mom's side. Most of the time, especially yeah. in Africa. Yeah. But abroad, people can, you know, go to the other side as well. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. Even in Africa, but not, it's rare. Yeah. Yeah, so living with my grandparents, I went to Rangala Girls until class 3. Okay. Class 3, that is grade 3, right now, right? Yeah. Grade 3. Then I was taken to live with my mom because at this point now, my mom went to, was now remarried to somebody else. Oh, like okay. now I went to live with them with my stepdad. Okay, okay. So I went to the second school that was uh, in Ugunja. You know Ugunja? Yeah, I know Ugunja. Yes. That then, was class? That was class 3. Class now. 3. Rangala girls, I left in class 2. two. Then I joined class 3 okay. in another school in Ugunja for two years because <coughs> I was now living with a stepdad. Okay. It was not easy. <laughs> it was not easy. <laughs> it was not easy. So every time when I used to go back to, to say hi to my grandparents, back home now to my grandparents, I would cry to them that I don't want to stay there. <laughs> I'm scared of my stepdad. Not okay. like he was not even physical or anything like uh, scary. Yeah. But when I looked at him, I was like, oh no 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 no. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So then I was taken back to. I was going to be taken back to the previous school that I was in because I was, was performing. Rangala. Yeah, that because I was performing well, mm. but they refused. So I had to go to a third. Primary school, primary that school. is, uh, if you know Simeru Primary School, no, it's so, just on the way. Who, who refused the school or the Of course, parent? the school. No, refused? The school. Yeah, they don't take, when you leave, don't. I don't think they accept you back. Oh. Because maybe you'll be, or, or you're already confused. Schools have different ways of teaching and I was yeah. performing, it, it actually affected my performance because now moving from this place to this place, this, even the school was like, no, you're going to be so confused. It's either you go back to the to one step back yeah. for you to join oh. or just go to another, another school. school. So I was like, I didn't want to go back because all my friends were on that level, the, yeah. the next level. So I was like, okay, let me just go to an, to primary. I, I went to three schools. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Sadly. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, I went to three schools. It's yeah. not the best for kids, actually. It mm. makes it confuses them a lot. Okay. My performance just went from here to, like, yeah. not down, down, but, but like somewhere. The curve. The curve went down. Okay. Yeah. So there you studied until class eight. I finished my class eight. Which school was that again? That is Simero Primary School. Simero in. In just around Ugunja, oh, around Ranala, Ugunja, oh, okay. Siaya region. So now you are living with your uh, grand. <coughs> Yes, now I was living with my grandpa. On my mom's side. On my mom's side, where okay. I was living all all those times, okay. all those years. Yes. This time, where was where was your dad? Were you in contact with the dad? No. So my dad yeah. was didn't even know anything about me. I think at this point I was now sixteen. Sixteen Cl years, no, fourteen, fifteen, 14. sixteen. Yeah. Class when eight. I was yeah, when I was now almost finishing primary school, primary, yeah. I, I was never in contact with my father. And ever. you didn't know him. I just used to listen to people talk about him, but I've I, I yeah. never saw him. Oh never. Like never, never, never. But I used to hear that he works with this company and that. So yeah. I was like, ah, okay. okay. He might be, you know, a good person fin financially. You yeah. Know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Because okay. if you if you listen to these companies, especially back then, yeah, they, they were big companies. Yeah. Yeah. Even they're big companies even now, but the world is changing. Yeah. Yeah. So that is it. So you. That's not it. That's not it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not it. That's so, it with the the primary. We all. Oh, so you you finished your primary school. Mm -hmm. Which year was that? I don't say years. People oh, will start oh, oh, calculating oh. my age. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. that's nice. Okay. <laughs> so you you are, you are done with your class eight. Yeah. Uh, you joined form one. I joined form one, but before that, this is the case. Mm -hmm. You know, so as a as a kid with uh, growing up with uh, separated parents, maybe the parents are not in good terms. 
and in Africa it's even worse because the law doesn't care like okay they care but they don't follow up much and maybe the parents just don't care not in a bad way mm -hmm. so me growing up with my grandparents um, you know I was now finishing class 8 okay. class 8 I have to go to high school even though I, it was in the village but not village village like you know those village with you know it's, yeah. a, it's a village but people know things yeah, oh, yeah. they're open-minded open-minded exactly so I knew that I wanted to go to school and I'm not going to live life like other girls in this village getting pregnant and getting married. It was scary to me. Okay. Married is scary is scarier even now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's even scary even now, like it was before. So mm. I started looking for my dad. And you know how I did it? I just mm. uh, because I was listening to people talk as a kid. Yeah. He's working in this company. So when I'm sent to the shop, I used to see a guy working in the same company. You see these uh, Kenya power poles, oh, they, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. they go up and do this. So I was like, I need my dad's number and none of my family members will know. because. Or, or you want to keep it a secret? I want to keep it a secret because they, they didn't want me to go to my dad. For oh. some reason, I didn't understand why. Okay. But for me, I wanted to go to school because none of these people were ready to take me to high school oh, to, okay. to pay my school fees. Yeah. So it was it was a scary moment of my life actually. I was mm. like, I need I need him. I need my dad. So I went to this guy uh, with a senior old mind, which I think was good enough. <laughs> now as you got that courage as a young girl. Yes. Imagine just, that courage. Yeah. I just went I, to the guy and uh, I knew the name of my dad. Three of them, three, three of, of the them. names. Yeah. Then I told him, I think my dad is either working in Kisumu or Webuye. Mm -hmm. Can you please get the contact for me? Because mm -hmm. I know you, you can call, like, you, they, so, they are connected. So you told this guy, you are dad? I just told I, I, I need to talk to my dad, and these are I, the reasons. Yeah. I wish I could just go back to the guy and say thank you. No. So, I just told him, this is the name of my dad. Of course they know each other, like you can tell anybody who is a doctor who is in Kisumu, can you look mm. for a doctor in this yeah, other yeah, place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the, he told me come, come the, the next day, the same time. The same time? The same you time. find me in yeah. the same location? So I went. That's I tomorrow? Went, that's, yeah, the next day. The next day. I went and he gave me the number. He just, I think he called. I think it was very easy. He just called and gave me the number, mm. and I came with it just like this. It was like my it's gold moment. Like it was your own, <laughs> moment. and you didn't want anybody to I know. I didn't want it. anyone to know. So my grandpa used to have this phone, the the, the small phone. Katulul. Yeah. Yeah. So and he was very, you know, back then with those phones, you just somebody, especially in the village. Oof, that's a big thing. You know? oh, yeah, yeah, that's for sure. a big thing. So I went. Uh, I think he left it charging uh, in the living room mm -hmm. and I just went there and stole it mm -hmm. very quick very quick and dialed the number to, uh, this is so and so I'm your daughter <laughs> yeah. he knew me oh, oh like really wow he knew you yeah and I'm calling you with my grand grandpa's uh, number but don't call back because I'm stealing this phone right now yeah oh yeah. so I want to go to high school I've finished but uh, see, the results were not back yet for primary, but yeah. I knew I was going to, to do well because well. I was a good performer in primary. Yeah. Somehow good, <laughs> good. Yeah. Yeah. So I just told him I was whispering like, because I didn't want anyone to hear me. Yeah. Yeah. Then I told him don't call back. Yeah. Then a few days later, he sent somebody to to come and talk to my grandparents because he didn't want to me to just go. You know, the yeah, law yeah, can yeah, yeah, make yeah. it worse. Yeah. So. He sent like an aunt from the other side of the, my my family okay. to come and talk to the to my grandparents so that I go like peacefully without mm -hmm. issues. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine they refused? They refused. <laughs> my grandparents refused. Like she's going, <laughs> she's going nowhere. Oh, she's going nowhere. So I was like, I asked, will you pay my for my school? You fees? asked them. I, I I asked my grandparents, will you now pay for my school fees? No, you you, you don't yeah. want me to go to my dad's side. Like, yeah. They were like, no, <laughs> your dad must pay us for you growing up with, with us for, for all these years. Yeah. And I'm like, what? Are you serious? Mm. <laughs> so 
I just let it go. I was just, you know, calm for a yeah. few weeks. Yeah. So you remember when my aunt came, the person my dad sent. Yeah. Uh, she came with a paper. She just wrote something for me. Just if you want to, in case you want to come. Come. This place to this place. If you reach this place. Take a vehicle from this place to this place. Oh, then hidden. She, then she gave, nobody knew. She gave it. She just gave secretly. me a paper, yeah, yeah, with the directions of my where my home is, where my dad's place is, and some little money for, oh. for, for the fare. For the fare. In the case you so really want. So it was to. me to decide. Am I going or not? Or not. It was scary. It was so scary. I felt like my mind was. I, I think this is an amazing story. <laughs> I love my grandparents, right? Yeah. I love them so much, but I'll be leaving. Yeah. I have to make this decision because I need to go to school. For sure. We have to confirm if it's recording. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we might be talking and yeah, it's not yeah, it's recording. recording. Okay. So this I it took me a long time, like what is with, this? That's that's a phone. You're showing these people oh, oh, my phone. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's this one, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, so mm. it took me a while to to decide. To decide, like, am I going or not? You you are, you are, you are still keeping this direction. I'm still keeping it. I look at it every time. Like I just go and look. So you so cram it. even if it get lost. Yeah. You know. I okay. remember I was. You know Dara Jambili? Uh, in uh, in um, Kisumu. Ah no, you, you don't come from Kisumu. No, I've been to Kisumu Maseno. a lot. Darajambili, when you're heading to the airport. Yeah, yeah, something. I know that place. So there's a place called Darajambili. Guys, Darajambili is like two bridges. Two, two, two bridges. bridges. Yeah. It's a name. It's a name of a, a center. Mm. So told, if you arrive that at that place, mm. kindly get get off, alight, and take another vehicle. So I remember that day when I, I decided to 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 go now. Uh. I just did every job. This, this was before the results. Before the results, yes. For class A, KCPE. Yes. Yeah. So you did all the chores peacefully. Peacefully, singing that day. praises. Not singing. <laughs> the anxiety was on another level. Oh. I was quiet, but doing everything. In fact, I did everything by two a, two p.m. You were done. I was done with all my chores. You know, when you're living with your grand grandparents, no matter how young you are, and you're you're the only grandkid, there are things you have to do, especially in African villages. So I did everything, like everything was clean. I just locked the doors. No one was home that Thank day. God. I locked uh, the doors, the gates, and everything. Then I just make the clothes that I was used, I, I had yeah. when I was cleaning. I just had them. Then I packed a dress and shoes. Then I went. Uh, I used the the other gate, the, the opposite, back door. The yeah. back door. Yeah. <laughs> and left the clothes there. Yeah. Changed in the bush. Then I, I, I went... Uh, you changed in the bush? You left the clothes yeah, at the bush? at the bush. Okay. I just left them there because I could not change at home. Somebody could come and find like, why, oh, where oh. are you going? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I changed at the bush, left the, the dirty clothes for cleaning. Mm. Then I went... Uh, it was hard. It was hard. It was the most difficult thing I did. Then I just took the vehicle because I really knew I needed to go to school. That at, was the only option. At the bus station, you didn't meet any of your... No. No. Relative. I did not. Okay. Luckily, I don't know. I don't remember. I really don't even remember how it happened. Okay. I think it was just God. I don't know. It was just God. It but I good. remember. Because the anxiety was so high that I think some of the memories are just gone. I killed with the anxiety. Mm. So I got there at the bus station. I told the conductor, I'm going to this place. That's Darajambili. Yes. And living in the village, I never traveled a lot. So the journey was just too far you know right now it's like one hour or one hour 30 minutes mm -hmm. back then when you travel at for one hour you're like oh my god we are not arriving like yeah. it's too far it's right too far, yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. so you remember that there are jambili the two bridges yeah so i think i reached the town with the two bridges on this side and this side so i told the conductor I think this is the place I am uh, I'm, I'm supposed to like because it, I can see two bridges. Yeah. So in my head I thought it was the Darajambili. It was the <laughs> okay. And then he told Did me no, know? that's no. not the place. It's okay. ahead. Then I arrived in that uh, center. I took the next vehicle. You seeing the directions you are given? Yes. Yeah. To the next center. Then I just arrived. I was told if you arrive, ask the name of this family. Somebody will of course help you. Mm -hmm. 
luckily enough, when I was arriving in that center in that evening, because I left at 2 p.m. Yeah, around 3, oh, oh. I left, I arrived by, I, I arrived by 6 p.m. Yeah. yeah. Guess who I met? No. My stepmom. Now no. from the other side. From the other side. With my sister, my stepsister. She doesn't know you. They know they know I exist, but this is not the first time we are meeting. They have never seen your face. Never. They know but you exist. Because I was told just go and ask. Arrive there and ask. Somebody left. Then I mm. the person I asked knew them. They okay. are known in that yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they told me, you see those three people standing there? Go and ask them. When I, I, I arrived, I'm like, mm. this is your stepmom, this is your stepsister. Oh. They were just in the market buying food for that day, for that <laughs> supper. I think they okay. were told I was coming. My dad told them I was coming. That day? Yeah. Okay. No, I don't think he knew. I don't think my dad knew I was coming because there was no phone. Yeah, there was no And phone. I was given a period to decide. Okay. He didn't know I was coming. Because you didn't call. But I think it was a shock. No, I didn't call. There was no phone. Yeah, the phone yeah, I stole yeah. it only once. Yeah. So I think uh, we I, I arrived and it was it was the most awkward moment ever. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine meeting your stepmom. Your you had all the stories about the stepmom, what yeah. why why what happened, why, why, why yeah. the reasons why. Now you are with her. I'm with her now. But you have to be nice because now he's your mom from now on. Yeah. yeah? No matter how angry you are, yeah, okay. you have to be nice. And yeah. I met my stepsister now, the one that was was born a year later when I was oh. I was uh, gone now. Yeah. So I was like, okay, we just get in. First time me like seeing TV, not seeing. We had the TV, but it was not good enough. It was yeah. small. Yeah. So me coming from the village, everything is locked to this now a city life. Mm. Not city city, but our village is, is like a good outskirts of uh, Kisumu city. Yeah, but it's okay. it's it's, it's kind of nice, you know. It's okay. not like village village. Okay. <clears throat> Those who watch my video on African tea travels, you will see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that white house. That's the house I went to anyway. Mm. So the I, I arrived. People are watching TV, I see these movies, Mexican uh, stuff mm. know, on TV. <laughs> this is a new, totally new life. I was just, I think... A new a environment. New environment. So I was shut. I think I was just locked. And I, I'm just there looking at everything. Everything. Okay, so this is another side of life I didn't know about. I remember my first time seeing pressure cooker. You know the pressure cooker that makes a lot of noise, noise yeah, yeah. when the steam is coming out? Uh, yeah. So I was left in the kitchen alone. My dad's house is very big. So the kitchen is on the other side and every other person is in the living room. I don't want to be with people because I'm new. Yeah, yeah. So I'm left there. They were making, they were cooking beef. Then the pressure cooker started. I'm like... What is that? But yeah. because of I'm very um, what is it called? Kenyaji pro 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 max from the video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to react. Like, I don't want to react like yeah. I'm scared or anything. Yeah, but you are scared inside. I'm scared, and yeah. I'm like, what is that? It's making a lot of noise. Yeah, and I'm in the kitchen. This thing is in front of me, and I don't know if this is the the thing that's making the pressure cooker. And I'm just like. Oh my god. Because if I run and act like a pro max Kenyaji, it will be like these people will laugh at me. Yeah, it will hold you forever. So I just sat there, then it went off. Then it started again. Oh, yeah, like, oh, okay, it's this thing. Mm. Thank God I didn't run because, hey, these people would have laughed at me. Yeah. I remember back in my home, we had the same thing, mm. but it was not making noise. I yeah. think my grandmother's was already spoiled. Yeah. So I didn't know. Mm. Anyway, this is when I started watching now TV. You know, I only have like it was December. That was December. Uh, January, I'm supposed to go to school. Yeah, okay. The results came. I got good grades enough to take me to a national school. Wow. So I went to Lugulu Girls. Those who you know went to Lugulu Girls. Hey, Lugulu Girls have every uh, student, every pupil, well, every girl from every tribe. Every tribe every corner of the country oh. the rich with the jets the poor with the nothing like 
it, like it was just a mixture yeah. but most of them i think were the rich and the, the richer rich. side yeah. <clears throat> so with my mind from the village i know nothing nothing zero mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> you're going to meet this high school in, the, in high school you're, you're with these kids who have everything like somebody started watching cartoons at three years at three years you started watching tv just one week and two oh, weeks ago <laughs> <laughs> you know what i did yeah. i used to be you know how i was quiet in that kitchen the first day that's how i was quiet in form one the whole year the whole year the whole year i was just quiet and I just study, I just watch people, just, what are they talking studies, about. Because yeah. if you open your mouth, you'll destroy. Yani, the, your ushambaness will come out. <laughs> <laughs> Even so, though I, sometimes you sit down and remember the things I was doing. Mm. And uh, I think I was kind of embarrassing myself, but I don't mind. But because after like the second year now, I started to Did open this, up. Like, okay. Did this silence in Form 1 affect your grades? No. Okay. I was okay. I was doing well. Okay. I was actually doing really really well okay. in a school like that. Yeah. With like over 600 uh, people in in one stream. Mm-hmm. If you make it top 100, you're doing well. Yeah, for sure. Top 100. So you're you are top 100. Well. And wow. another thing that scared me was like you find somebody came from a private school. They just scored like 420 out of 500. Out of 500. Then, and you're from a village school with your 380 something, which is okay. Yeah, which is it's okay. very okay. Yeah. But the the fear of private school and your village it makes you scared. Like it it mm. kind of feel you make it makes you feel like you're on on another level. They are mm. on another level. Yeah. So you just give them space. <coughs> anyway, the first year of Form One was okay. Silence, studying. Mm. I just studying people what they do. Then. On holidays, they go home. The TV is mine. <laughs> Nobody you is, want, but yeah. it's me. I'm the firstborn. You remember I'm the firstborn now? Yeah, yeah because the, 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 the sister yeah, the is sister one is, year yeah, younger yeah. than you. So I'm the firstborn because I'm now my dad's first child. The phone was given to me. The phone was given to me. I didn't say me. that part, by the way. When yeah. I came from the village, yeah, because but, now you're the firstborn. Mm. You're the owner of the phone. the phone. You remember the house phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that the person who's supposed to deal with it, it's mine now. So the phone is mine, the, the TV, I watch what I want. I'm the first one. You're the first one. <laughs> <laughs> it only took it, it took me only the first time of form one. Yeah. And I was so comfortable. Okay. Let me go back a little. When I met my dad, I remember the first night. Now he was not around. When I was meeting my stepmom at the market, he was, was not, not around. He was at work. He was. He came late. Not not literally at work, cause it was in the night. I think it was just out with friends or something. Oh, so he, he came, came back the same day. The same day, but around eleven p.m. Oh. So I was sleeping, and I heard his voice. I yeah. just pretended like I was sleeping. Sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw him though. You saw him, but I you saw him that like you a, a glance. Then I pretended him. That was the first time now the, seeing him. The first time ever, but it was at night. So okay. the following morning. When we woke up, we met like this on the hallway. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> this is my dad. Yeah. He looked, he looked young, nice. You know, you yeah. know, uh, the village dads yeah. compared to the town dads, they are different. Yeah, yeah. I was like, and the connection was there immediately. Immediately. Not like when I was seeing my stepdad, and I'm like, no, yeah, oh, yeah. no, like the energy is off. But with my dad seeing him for the first time, it was just a connection was just there like Oh my god. It was just soft, like I've known you for the rest of the, my whole life. Okay. But this is now the first time I'm seeing him, but it's like I have known you for the my whole life. Okay. And that's how it started. It started like what, what, what was the first sentence? Uh, who, 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 he was like who my said daughter. the first he said first. He talked first. He was like my daughter. In, in Lu or in English? No, in English. In English. My daughter. Like, then I hugged him. Then, this is my first time ever, I think, hugging somebody. <laughs> 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 oh, that was not the first time awkward. hugging somebody. It was awkward. Awkward because you're hugging hug your it. dad and mm. it's the first time ever you're hugging somebody. I'm telling mm. you, life is weird out here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. At 16 is the first time you're seeing TV. At 16, you're hugging your dad for the first time and seeing him for the first time 
it was crazy mm-hmm. but it, it was smooth we we talked for like a few hours i was so the connection was there but still i was not open enough okay. you know, but we talked yeah. and smoothly enough i was just this is your stepmom this is your sister this mm-hmm. is your another sister i had a younger sister mm-hmm. two sisters yeah so mm-hmm. smoothly not like I was given money the next day, go and buy clothes. You remember, he didn't come with anything. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was given money, go to the market and buy, buy clothes, clothes and yes. stuff. Yeah. yeah, and and that's how it it, it went. Like I just became first born like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From last born in the village, because I think I was one of the last grandkids mm-hmm. in the village with my grandparents. To so now being given there. Opportunity, the, the chance of being a first one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you really hard. enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, it was hard because now you have to make sure the house is clean, you have yeah. to make sure oh. every, people are eating, yeah, yeah. like things are done. The responsibilities. Time. Yeah, but it was good. I didn't know, you know, the the, the accent for Sia. Mm-hmm. The accent is different from the one from Kisumu. Kisumu. So they used to laugh at me when I, I talked in, yeah. in the, in the yeah, yeah, in in dialect like the the accent is very heavy. Yeah. So my cousins used to laugh at me. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time when people are talking, you uh. quiet. Cause if I talk, they laugh. If I talk, like they don't laugh in a bad way, like bully. But, but they're but enjoying, they're your, enjoying your accent. the accent. So I felt I felt like I need to. It didn't take me a long time to pretend like I'm now talking in the other accent mm-hmm. so that I, I could ma- you know talk. Mm-hmm. What what helped us is that nowadays most people talk Swahili yeah, in, yeah, the, in yeah, the family. Yeah, 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 yeah. So even that Swahili had accent in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it. <laughs> but I'm glad that the high school I went to people were, you know, sharp, bright, it did, oh, so yeah, it yeah. made me ch- like go go catch up. join catch yeah. up very quick on the okay. other side of, of life. Mm. Yeah. I used to so we are in high school. Movies helped me a lot. Actually. Yeah. Especially I think Mexican movies. Yeah. They helped me with like knowing things and you you know you promax to prom pro pro promax to maybe promax. <laughs> <laughs> now the, that promax was reducing. <laughs> okay. It was reducing by the time by the time I finished by the time I was in form three, mm. I think now I was very okay. very up like on the other side okay yeah it didn't take a lot now you started of time. to relate to the this kid yeah, from the yeah, yeah. good background yeah we could relate because some of them my dad uh, i think our our parents our dads from this company just took their kids to that school Oh. Yeah, so when when they come to school to pick us up, the, the parents have uh, cars. I'm like, wow. Oh. <laughs> 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 now they're coming to pick us with cars. Yeah, you know? yeah like, you're wow. buying magazines. These are things that I just had before. Because mm. in primary, when I, I used to see uh, neighbors go to boarding, we were like, wow, I wish you could do this. Yeah. But now it's me, my dad is coming with a car, with a magazine. With a magazine. And I'm like, where? With mm. uh, you know, with the glass. Some yeah, you know, they, yeah. their glass. Now you feel like uh, uh, you know you feel like, like uh, <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> boss lady. Yeah, the boss lady I'm saying. Yeah. How are you feeling when you when you see your dad coming with a car? You feel nice. Like you uh, feel, you, feel proud. Other, other, you want every other student to see. to see. To see like that's my dad. <laughs> 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 I'm just telling the truth, no lie. I, mean, I never experienced that. You never? Yeah. Why? I hope it's not sad. Like. I I know. No, as a man, you have to. You know. Also, mm-hmm. as a man, you have also to be a gangster. Mm-hmm. So when your dad arrives without the car, now you are now the real gangster. The real gangster. You say mm-hmm. now, mm-hmm. now you you uh, you look like a, a lady. Mm-hmm. When your dad comes to the car, <laughs> so, ah, that one is now a lady. Oh, you really? feel like that, yeah. But now when your dad, even this thing, when your dad doesn't come, mm-hmm. now you are the real gangster. You're the real man. When they don't come, now you are the real gangster. I think that was a good way to make, to, to, to twist the bad feeling exactly. to the good feeling. Exactly. Ah. Exactly. That was a good one. That was yeah. a good one. Because for girls, it's, yeah. it's the, uh, the opposite. Yeah. If the parents doesn't come, mm. you, you feel like, oh my God, now what? Maybe they are busy, mm. you know. It, it, was, it would be the worst day. Okay. Mm. Yeah. But I was tough. I think emotionally I've been tough since I was a kid. Mm. If I knew he would not come, I, I didn't put expectations. Because okay. now I was just there 
Oh, if I'm not called, then fine. If he comes, then fine. Then fine. Yeah, but, but again, if he the, comes now, the, the, this pride thing that I was talking about, like, oh, that's my dad. It mm. it only happened to me when I was in form one. Oh. Because oh. now you know the life is changing and all these things are new to you. And mm. but when the time like goes by, mm. I was just like, ah, okay, it's very normal. Like, okay. You know, your dad would come with a car, but the other one would come with. A bicycle, but the other one is even better than the yeah. one with a car, you know. Okay. So I started to understand life, kidogo kidogo. Mm. My people know kidogo kidogo. I say slowly, slowly. Slowly, slowly. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, <coughs> and it it came to make sense, make sense that cars and all these magazines is nothing. It's you know? not, yeah. Everything is just normal to people. So yeah. it was it was a good uh, development. Okay. Yeah. Now you are in form three. Yeah. Uh, you've not done your high school. Mm. You My dad not... used to forget about pocket money. <laughs> <laughs> and I never used to, I and never it... used, you know what, I never used to care for some reason. Yeah, you used to forget. I, no, 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 there was a time I used to care so much mm. until I was done, like, it, you, it used to hurt me. Okay. I have that thing of, if something is hurting me, I block it. I just block it and don't care about it. Mm. And it's really bad with relationships because if mm. somebody is hurting me mm. and I block it, I close it, you're done. Like yeah. I won't care. So my dad, I, I see, we had we had a canteen in our school, a national mm. school with chocolates, fruits, oh, wow. biscuits and all. Wow. So every time in the evening we're given like 30 minutes to run there and buy things. So they, they come in class with all these nice things. Oh, they come to class. Sometimes my dad has forgotten my pocket money. And you're just there seeing all these nice things, but I don't care. Like you I don't just, care. It's blocked. I don't want to stress about money or what. I just eat the food school, and then sometimes he calls. Um, the deputy calls me because he he's, he was a friend to the deputy. Like, oh, your dad is asking, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> because you don't call. Because you don't call. You don't even ask for money. I'm like, I'm tired. I told you last week, and you forgot. Now yeah. what will I do? But yeah. I I understand my dad was very busy he used to be very busy taking care of so many things so okay. he, he used to forget okay but <coughs> it works for me when in relationships <laughs> <laughs> if you make me stress one two three one two uh, three uh, first you, you first say uh, maybe, uh, second uh, no third mm -mm. don't you, give up you, you uh, come back asking oh. i don't give up <laughs> about it you come back asking um is everything okay because now i'm, I'm done yeah not even that that may give many chances, especially okay. relationships, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, I was in form three, I finished. Mm -hmm. You finished? Yeah. The grade was not average grade. Mm -hmm. Then I went to the university. Mm -hmm. These were my dreams when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. When I was back in the village. Because mm -hmm. I could see my neighbors going to the university, you know, the and I'm like I want to be like this. Mm -hmm. you know? So I went to the university. Which, which university Maseno. was that? Maseno University. I was in Maseno. So you're just revolving around the yeah. Nyanza region. Yeah, I wanted to go to maybe KU, Nairobi, just to change the environment yeah. and, you know, open up more. Yeah. But, but this, I, I was grateful to even get Maseno. Because oh. my dad was so scared that, oh, my daughter is going far. You know, oh, dad, yeah, yeah, yeah. all this overthinking. Yeah. Will she be safe? So yeah. he tried his level best to make sure that I was close enough. It was good, but it was very good for me because it made my work even easy. I'm close to home. You can go anytime. And lucky enough, he had some rentals in Maseno. So oh. in my, my university... <laughs> uh, that was just a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Metal yeah. stretch. Yeah. So in... He had in my university life. I never paid for rent. You know that's oh. the, one of the toughest things in, in university. For sure. For sure. I know. I apart understand. From the school I fees, paid my rent. Apart from the school fees, mm. is where you live first. Is it yeah. safe, especially for ladies? So that was an easy thing for me. You know. It so was just you like lived uh, uh, in your dad's rentals. Rentals. Yeah. It was easy. Oh my God! Thank you, God. It was easy. I know it's fast, but it was easy. Like. Mm. You know, people go home for long holidays, like yeah. five months, four months. They stress where will they, where will I put my stuff? Mm -hmm. Your stuff will be stolen, this and that. You pay for rent when you're at home. 
that was none of my concern. Like people will come to me to keep their stuff in my in oh, my yeah. space. Yeah. So that was that was an easy ride for me. Like life changed from going to the river to fetch water. Actually, we we had tanks, but my 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 grandfather was a uh, high school principal. <laughs> Oh, your grandfather was? Yeah, the one I was living, my dad's, my, my mom's, mom's dad. dad. Yeah. We had a very nice, my dad, my grandfather had a very nice house. Nice, like electricity, we have tanks, we have gates, they are locked. Like, oh. it was a nice home. Okay. But you're living like, uh, because, because of my situation as a kid, my dad, you know, left me, my mom also left me to the other side. So, the only thing I was here for was, place to sleep and food so i wasn't getting enough you know there was no enough concern from from the grandparents okay. even though as a kid <coughs> yeah, i loved them so much i didn't know what was happening because okay. you come from a very nice home but you're walking with your foot to school not not like food like like this uh -huh. barefoot 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 to school. but you're I, coming from a very nice a home a very nice home with like if people see your home they're like oh guys you're very you know yeah, yeah. Up, oh. up there yeah but these people cannot buy you um, uh, shoes. shoes, you know. So you, it was just normal for me. <laughs> I didn't. How, how do you relate to them right now? Oh, they, sadly they are passed. They passed the away. The My grand grandparents, both oh, of them, both of them yeah, passed, they away. passed away. My grandfather passed away at ninety four because of old age. Yeah. I guess. I, then yeah. my grandmother, she had um, diabetes. So diabetes, and one day um, she was peeling, peeling the the meat. Kupasua meat. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and I was peeling the meat. Trees. The trees. Yeah. Then the the stick just got into her leg. She didn't know. She didn't know. So this thing with diabetes is kind of different. You know? So it was there for a long time, then it turned into a big thing, then it turned into a big thing. So this thing was going up slowly, slowly. Even though this one was well now, it was treated, but inside the it was wound. destroyed. Yeah. yeah. Then I think one day we just, they just woke up and found she was not waking up. Yeah, but I think also she had blood pressure and everything. Yeah. So my, my grandmother passed away. Maybe. Then uh, later my grandfather also passed away. So grandma was the first. Yeah, it was the most painful. Uh, I sometimes I don't even believe my grandmother passed away because it took me time to believe because I was in form three then. Okay. I was in form three and I was now doing exams for my form four. Then she passed away and they didn't tell me because I was doing exam. Oh. Wow. I was told a month later when she was buried, it was painful. Like after, after she was buried. Yes. The person you grew up with from your childhood to, to, to 16 years and you remember how I left without even saying anything. I just left without saying goodbye. Then in Form 3 I'm told she's dead. She's so, she was buried one month ago. Oh my oh, goodness. That it broke was, me. Oof. <laughs> it was hard. Good thing it was at night so the cry was just two hours. <laughs> yeah, it was painful. Let me ask you, <coughs> during uh, your high school, mm. you didn't go back to see them? I did not, and I, I wasn't, there was less communication. I think there was a time I called and, uh, I actually called after three months, when I now came to my, that was the first time I came from for holiday in four months. Mm. I called and told them now what was going on, but I think, they didn't ask. My grandmother or my mom or who, they did not ask where I was. I think they guessed I was there. Okay. But oh. it would, for, for as a parent, if I was a parent, I would have called and asked because maybe your daughter was kidnapped and yeah, killed yeah. and you don't know. <clears throat> but I think they guessed. I asked my mom later and she said, I, I just guessed you were there, you know. At, uh, did, at any given time, did she come to see you in school, in your high school? No. She didn't come for visiting? No, she did not. Until she you finished? Not. Until I finished. Even like in Maseno, no, she did not. Which is okay. It's okay, okay yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now you are done. I was now, now my dad's uh, responsibility yeah, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Now we are in campus. Yeah. Okay. What? Were, how was life in campus? I I regret my life in campus. You regret? Uh, somehow because I you know I had uh, I didn't know the business opportunities in campus. Okay. I could sell popcorns. I could sell this and that. I'll be rich. 
Yeah. I could have bought Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, by the way. <laughs> Uh, even me, could, let, let me just say, uh, I also regret my campus mm. life. I also I didn't, regret I didn't have life. good friends. Yeah. I didn't have good friends, but you know, when you think like Bitcoin was at this price and back, then, back then, and you were just there, you could have even bought the pocket money, like the little, little you just buy. Yeah. But anyway, back then, everybody thought these things were scams. Was scam. Even yeah. now, people even think. Even now, still people yeah, think. But yeah. I wish I had that. You know, the, the camera can go off because of the heat, but oh, okay. we have to check. Okay. Yeah, so um, I think my campus life, I wish I knew a lot, like I knew now, I would have been very rich. <laughs> but I don't regret my campus life, even though I met friends who taught me to drink alcohol. You don't you don't blame anybody, but I think that's just campus life. Okay. Yeah, and I remember also working at Hawaiian Spirits. Yeah, this is that, campus. Yeah, this is So, uh, T, yeah. you said you have a, a little story mm, before the camera went off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, the, it was the story of uh, uh, when I was in second year in uh, uh, campus. In campus. I, uh, I think I've always been a. Sorry. Because I bought my dress. I've always been um, like I want to work and get my money. I don't like asking for money. I don't like you know asking. Like just remember my my high school story, mm -hmm. where it uh, it reached a point I never used to ask my dad for money. Like yeah. he'd be wondering what's going on. Yeah. yeah. So in second year, I looked for a job. In in Kenya, there's this long holiday, like yeah. five months, yeah. four months. So I looked for a job. I couldn't find any. Yeah. But the only I, I know I found an Mpesa job. Yeah. Mpesa. They only give you like three thousand per month. Per month. That's like one what how many? Ten shillings per day? Yeah. <laughs> That's ten shillings per day. Ten shillings sure. per day. <laughs> so Kenyan shillings. Kenyan shillings. Yes. I did it. Yeah. That month, by the end of the month, they cut my salary because I think there was some money missing that the calculation was not adding up. So yeah. they cut like half of the money. So you're given and 1500 1500 And I'm using fare to come to this place you every wake time. Up every morning. You wake up every morning. So uh, in the process, I was looking for another job. I could not find any other good job that could pay me well. So the only job I found was a wines and spirits job. Wines and spirits behind the counter, like you sell in bulk. Not the one you're selling oh, before okay. the table, they touch you like this. No. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> so I found a wine and spirits job and they were paying uh, 15,000. Per month. Per month. Mm. 15,000 during second year and your last salary was 10 times less than that. Yeah. <laughs> so I took it. I didn't tell my dad because, of course, if I told him, he would have said no. That was when you were in holiday. Holiday. And Did I Did you go back home or you were, you were in school? And I went, I, I was, I, this one I was home now. You're During home. the holiday, you, you, you visit your parents, yeah. so I was just at my dad's place. So you found this job, you yeah. didn't tell your dad. What about your stepmom? They didn't know, like I didn't, of course if I don't tell my dad, I don't tell my stepmom. Yeah. Like my dad now first, because he's yeah. the first parents yeah. that I'm close to them than the stepmom. It depends on how you relate with your stepmom. So I didn't tell, I didn't tell them, but I was coming home late because you have to work until late. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, you, you get out of the home very early in the morning. Early. They don't ask you where you're going to. For a week, they did not. I'm telling you, some parents are weird, but they were worried. They, they were just worried. didn't yeah, yeah. Uh, tell me. They asked me. Yeah. So I'm, I'm getting worried if they go pro. Sorry. It's on the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just put it here. I'd rather be on the sun than it being on the oh, sun. Yeah. Sure. You know, you. You should be this side, then I'll be that side. No, it's okay. If the sun is really it's no, it's affecting. okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so um, they didn't ask me for a week. For a week? For a week. Uh, mm -hmm. they just, then I think that's the period when the. For me, that's the period when I started seeing the energy drink. You, you know the energy drink? Yeah. That it, it's not alcohol, but if you look at it, you think it's alcohol. Yeah. So that's when I started. So every in the evening, I used to work. We used to work a lot, carry the boxes, like sell so much. 
so so tired. I come back home with the energy drink. Yeah. And I drink it. By then I didn't know anything alcohol, but I'm working in a wine and spirits, right? Yeah. <laughs> so my dad is like, Why do you leave come back at nine? And, and you smell yeah. like alcohol. Yeah. Of, of course I think I was smelling like alcohol because, because sometimes you've been touching the, yeah, yeah. the 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 bottles can break and yeah. spill on you. I've never tested alcohol, but I've worked here for like three weeks. Yeah. So he's like, What is why, why are you like this? Mm, mm. My dad did not know mm. anything. So I had to tell, no, I had to tell, I, I told him the first week after I've worked there, like the first week, mm. that this is the work I'm doing and they are paying me. He did not like it, but mm. he had no choice because I've already started working. I can't stop. Yeah. And it's paying well, of course. Mm. 15,000 uh, with a school kid, that was good enough. Mm. Yeah, so. I think that's how I started knowing alcohol. Start testing, kidogo, kidogo. Yeah. <laughs> slowly, slowly, slowly. <laughs> it was not. It was. It was not my. It, I didn't like that. That was the the journey. But those who like you, you start kidogo, kidogo, then you start knowing. It. But I think it helped me. You there, there's different types of alcohols. There's cheap ones that will make cut you. Then there's expensive, expensive one ones that you know. Even if you take. Uh, there's there's difference. There's a yeah. lot of difference. Yeah. So okay. I think that's how I, I, I knew alcohol because yeah. I don't think it's a bad thing. You just use it well. That is, it. guys. The camera went off. So the story, the way it was flowing in my mind, like I wanted to say, it, yeah. just it kind of got mixed up. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. So uh, you are done with your university. Mm -hmm. uh, where did you go to after finishing okay. university? After university, of course, uh, I met friends who had a company, a construction company. And I started working for them. They were like, you know, you can help us. Can I, can I just ask, which course did you study in university? I did, sorry, I did construction, uh, not construction, communication and media technology. Okay. Yes, I did uh, journalism, so, mm -hmm. but majored on PR, public relations. Mm -hmm. Though I did production in, inside, I did uh, printing and all this stuff. Yeah. So even if I'm doing YouTube, I think it's kind of related. Related. Little related. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So after university, of course, I met the friends. They had a construction company. They were like, "You can help us as you wait to get employed with your main course, mm -hmm. whatever you did." Mm -hmm. Yeah. That didn't happen. It's not easy to get jobs in Kenya, especially that field. It's uh, Overcrowded. Overcrowded. Plus, you find that somebody is working there at their sixties, and they've worked there for like thirty years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They don't give chances to. For sure. The upcoming uh, people from the university. So I didn't get a chance to get the job. I mean, the job with my profession. So I just worked in a construction company. What were you doing? We just uh, help each other. It was just like a team. We look for jobs. We okay. look for tenders. Oh. Uh, we we. We look for tenders. Then our boss is a, a, a electrical engineer. Um, electrical? No, civil. Civil engineer. Civil engineer. So he, we we look for the work. Then we do all the documentation and everything. Then the the building is built. Okay. Like big contracts. It was it worked well, but it reached a point of that I needed change. The money was not. Good. Money. The money it was, was not you could money. pay the bills, yeah. like comfortable, you buy shopping for the month and all that. But I was like, there's no way. I'm seeing uh, other people on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing these big things. So you started um, watching YouTube? I'm a big watcher, like from, from before, since I, mm. since 16, since I saw the Since TV. you saw the TV. <laughs> <laughs> so I like watching a lot. I, mm. I, I can watch, even though right now I try to reduce, but I still watch. In mm. a day, I have to watch a documentary. I don't care how, but you at what time, yeah. even right now, even if I'm going to sleep, to I'd rather sleep at 10 minutes or 45 minutes documentary. At least I watch it. At yeah. least I had that sound of a documentary. Okay. <laughs> so I'm a big watcher. So I used to watch Kenyan YouTubers like uh, the likes of Miss Trudy, yeah. with Miss Trudy, you all, you'll always find Wodemaya. Mm. Then from Wodemaya, of course, Mara would be recommended. Yeah. So I started, first of all, I thought Mara was a lure because mm. it was like, I come from Migori. Mm. It's not nothing about tribe. 
but yeah. like I was interested like who he's just here he's from Migori mm -hmm. and I, he's doing all this yeah. like he has a drone this. yeah 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 then I started watching his videos mm -hmm. then I I think the Colombia video was went was the, the video that made made me know him I was mm -hmm. like this guy is being harassed in Colombia by the police with that, the police mm -hmm. and stuff right mm -hmm. that was in, in Dominican Republic Oh, Dominican, not yeah. Colombia. Yeah. Oh, Dominican, yeah. yeah. So he was harassed, <coughs> and that's why he got interested. So every time I watch, I watch it. Oh, so he's from Migori. I didn't take it serious. You know, I had, uh, I had uh, knowledge about YouTube, but I didn't take it serious at all. Mm. Like, I was just looking at it, maybe mm. posting my videos. I also had a channel. Mm. Posting my videos, not knowing that they could, you know, do something. Mm. <laughs> so... I, I was like, let me go to this place and see these YouTubers. I had no, I was zero, like, I only knew Marwa, Davy, and D. D. Yeah. A little bit of D, I never used to watch her that much, mm. but I knew Marwa so much. Like, it's always Marwa first, then the rest come. Mm. So I came, I came to meet Davy. It was so scary because I think that's the time they were saying nobody should come, uh, it's being locked, like nobody should come there and all mm. this stuff. So, so you I, came regardless? I came in regardless. I just I didn't even know the name of Mia Bohanzi. A new movie. The yeah, sun is yeah, now yeah. sunny. The sun is there, it's just a... It's coming, place. it's always coming and going. I think that's okay. I think it's just, just a little move. Yeah, yeah. that's right. I don't want you to be affected. <laughs> I don't want to be black. Yes. I'm just, black enough. Just move. You can, you can still move. Yeah. I don't Are you okay with that? I'm black enough. I'm black enough. <laughs> Melanie. I think it's capturing. It's okay. Mm. Yeah, so. It's okay. Oh, of course, that. I met Davey. Yeah. Oh, it oh, was oh. so scary. Where, where did you meet him? Uh, just at their home. I think I'm from Komo's compound. When so you, 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 you took a bus? I took a uh, From Kisumu, Kisumu yeah. to Nyabohanze, mm -hmm. old border. To Nyabohanze. I didn't even know the name of Nyabohanze. So how did you get to... By the time I was reaching Migori. You, you know? Huh? Leaving Migori, you're mm. so stressed, the anxiety, yeah. you don't know what will happen there. People have been told not to go, but you, you're going. Mm. You know, so... <laughs> So by then you you had a channel but you were not posting or you didn't I had a channel I was posting but I didn't take it that serious. Okay, okay. There's something that happens in my mind, just like I left my grandmother's place. It's the same way I left Kisumu. Now at this point my boss, uh, the civil engineer, was getting into politics. Oh. Yeah? So I was seeing the future. Like the future. When he gets into politics, it might be good or it might be really it, bad. Yeah, yeah. Because if he gets the seats, then you we are going it. to, at this point I also had a, a, a little supplies company. Yeah. So I was doing supplies up yeah. and down. Yeah. Even though it was very hard as a lady, mm -hmm. you, you want to go to a men's office to ask for supply. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Tricky. It's tricky. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, so, uh, everything, I just, I was seeing the future, I was kind of, it might be bright, but it might not. Mm -hmm. Maybe it can be serious with YouTube. Yeah, so my, my boss got the seat of the NCA. He was being the NCA. Oh. So so he got the seat. He got the seat actually. Yeah. So yeah. he just switched to serving the the people. Yeah. The public and kind of you know the company was now going back. The graph yeah. was yeah. going down. Mm. I was like, what will I do? I don't like employment because mm. I'm not going to to sit in somebody's office again getting harassed. And not all offices. Mm. Most of the offices, mm. <laughs> but not all. We get harassed a lot, yeah. Mm. So in my office, I was not harassed. It was comfortable, so that's why I was scared to even now start applying for another job in somebody's office. Yeah. So I was just like, let me just be serious with YouTube, and let me see if I can be serious with YouTube and uh, do something. Maybe mm. it can it can help. Me living Kisumu, I didn't even know that YouTube can pay you like ten. I knew it can pay because I was watching Miss Trudy, but it, it didn't click that much that it can pay. So I, I arrived in Gori, absent minded, I just, I'm just watching things online. Then, oh, I'm in Gori, where am I alighting? Mm -hmm. 
Then I checked a video of somebody who came to Migori, then he said Nyabo Hanze. Then I was like, okay, oh, now okay. I told him. I'm now going to Nyabo Hanze. Yeah. <laughs> I arrived then. Um, mm. I just. There's this villa is being built. Do you yeah. know where it is? Eh? Also at the at the at junction. The, yeah, yeah, at the at, stage. Border, border guy. Do you know this in, villa? Yeah, there's yeah. a YouTuber with a big villa. Mm. Yeah, can you take me there? Then he took me there. Yeah. Uh, passing at Nani, Congress Mom House. Yeah, now you there. now the reality is dawning on you. It's heat. It's yeah. heat real bad. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm scared. Like those yeah. people don't come here. Yeah. Then I just talked. So I was smiling. Like, not this smile. It was another <laughs> smile. <laughs> it was another friendly, soft smile. Yeah, smile. smile. Okay. Because I found a Devi and Mo recording a video. At the villa? No, at Mo's place. Oh, yeah. So I'm just smiling. Like, I know everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know yeah. everything. <laughs> yeah. The smile of anxiety. Okay. So but it's very did soft. Did you alight at Mo's? Uh, Place or at no, 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 villa. at Congrats Mom's gate because that's the famous part first, then you go to then the villa. Because yeah. at that time, also the villa was kind of closed, yeah. they didn't want people to go there because of some reason. Yeah. So, this anxiety smile, soft, and just there, just looking at more with his jokes, yeah. the way they record, yeah. jumping and you know, fainting, and all this. Uh, and yeah. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Then, of course, you know, these people online, like, Davy, how are you? Morning. Mm. He was, they were so welcoming, I mm. thought they knew me. You thought they knew you? I thought they knew me because they were so nice, friendly, mm. welcoming. Mm. Then I asked Devi, are you free? Can I do a video? This is just like 30 minutes, I just arrived with all this anxiety. Can you record it? Like, yeah. Yes, I'm free. The way he talks slowly. Yeah. Yes, I'm free. Then he just started. Mm. I did two videos, I did another video with uh, Mo mm. the following day, I think I slept in his bunny at, at a hotel, no, at Mabera, I didn't even know his bunny. You went back. Mabera. Yeah. I slept there. <laughs> then I came back tomorrow, the, the following the day, day I did yeah. a video with Mo, it did well. Mm. It was not hitting me, like, it's now time. Yeah. So by then you, you, you had not find your niche? I knew I wanted to, I don't know how the cooking thing even came because you remember I was calling myself, it's me tea, uh -huh. it's me tea, yeah. so I didn't even know what I, I would do, but I just knew I wanted to be different, okay. so I, I think cooking video just came in my mind, okay. I think I already thought of the cooking thing because I think I did a few videos back in Kisumu where I, I buy food, you cook? I go look for somebody who doesn't, you know, can't afford lunch. Not many people can afford lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They skip to, to, the, to the next meal in the evening. Yeah. So I think that was the plan for in my head. I was like, if I have my little 500, the 500 can buy good meal, like mm. eggs, uh, flour, and mm. burger, and feed a family, you know. Yeah. So that, that was in my mind. Because I'm always alone all the time, I eat alone, I'm like, I can eat with somebody, you know. So the cooking was already in my mind. So when I came, I had to do the cooking video with Mo. He, he accepted and I got like 5,000 plus views. Mm -hmm. da -da -da. Then I went back to Kisumu. I could not even stay in sleep. How can I sleep in Kisumu? Doing what? Doing what? I came back after two days. <laughs> <laughs> I came back, I tried recording a video in, in Kisumu, it was not easy. Mm -hmm. Kind of difficult, people are difficult, they want yeah. to know this, why, eh? mm -hmm. then I came back. I just took my last savings, because at this point, I was not getting salary from my work, because my boss already was serving the people. I took my last salary, I paid for the hotel in Isbanya, then I started doing videos at my youth place, da -da 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 -da. I got monetized, now I can see the money. I'm like, okay, mm. let's start it, let's go, let's go. <laughs> and that's how that's how it happened. Of course, I knew Marwa through watching his videos. Mm. He motivated, he's, he's motivating so many youths in Kenya. Yeah, for sure. Not even in Kenya, but you find Rwandans, Burundians, Kambi, all, over. all over Nigeria, yeah. like the whole world, Jamaica. Yeah. yeah. Even UK, like you guys have seen it. Yeah. If you watch the the party, if you haven't, mm. yeah, you should. So we came, and that's how everything started. Mm. It changed. 
my life because yeah. I was so stressed. So stressed of the future. Okay. Like you think of the future so much like now the job is done. I don't want to be employed. Now what will I do? Will the YouTube even work? Mm. Thank God. I thank God. Mm. Yeah, so that's how it happened. We loved I loved the weather because when I come here it's cool, when I go back it's hot. And it, I love the cool weather, so I just decided to move permanently. Mm. Yeah, after but like four months, I just decided to carry everything and move to Nyabohand. Okay. Yeah, it was a big risk, but in life you take risks. For sure, for sure. Because everybody was like, why, why the village, what are you going to do? But you know what, the village is better than that city you're thinking is better, for sure. Mm. I even had to lie to people that I was going to Eldoret. Eldoret is another those who don't know is another town in Kenya somewhere. Mm. It's like a town also. A so big you town. told them you found a job in Edoret? Yeah, I found a job in Edoret and I'm carrying my stuff, I'm going there. Because if I tell them I'm coming to Nyabohandu, they'll be like, oh, why? I don't like talking too much. Maybe yeah. now, but <laughs> not Back explaining things like yeah. that. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, I, I lied to them after three months and now everything was working out. I told them I wasn't in Eldoret, I was in Nyabohandu. So you you could see what I'm doing and understand. Oh, she has ten thousand subscribers because of Nyabuhanz. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's making sense. I don't have to explain. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And uh, uh, I think uh, thank you so much for this interview. A very long one. Eh? A very long one. But mm -hmm. the last question: mm -hmm. How do you relate? How do you relate with your mom? Oh, my mom. We are good. Actually, we talk. Because have you ever have you ever visited her? I visit her, but it it takes time. Like it takes time. But I I do visit her actually. I do visit her. I love her. No 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 worries. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What about your stepdad? Hmm. Never talk. Never. Never. Like since I left as a kid, I think the only time we talked was when now because I I was now it reached a point I was now living with my other siblings. Like I took care of my other siblings. With the little salary I was getting, I took care of my siblings from my mom's side and my dad's side. We were living like pocket money, all oh, this, this and that. So that's the time so maybe you, we could talk. So you know your siblings on your mom's side? Do they of know course you? I know them, I, I've lived with them. Oh. Like during the runner season, yeah. I took them because I didn't want them to. I know the village mentality. Like you, you think small, yeah. but when you come to town, you think big. Yeah. Because in the village, people only think of M-Pesa, yeah, yeah, M-Pesa yeah. work, yeah. or selling phones in a shop. Yeah. These are things that will never take you anywhere. But if you come to the city, you find that somebody is cooking chapatis in the morning very early yeah, at, very six, early, yeah. at 6 in the six a.m. doing uh, eggs and what. Yeah. And they're Smokies. making more money than the person who is selling phones in the Yeah, village. for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I wanted them to come to town and open their mind. Okay. So we thought the runner was going to be there for two months or one month. Yeah. Hmm. It stayed for two years. <laughs> so we stay. I stay. I had to stay with them for like two years. Yeah. How many are they? Two. Only oh, two. two. Yeah. Big ones. My my younger sister now is uh has finished high school. Oh. Yeah. So we just we just stayed there, three of us, doing the thing, living life. How the thing go? They made me even think more because now you have to have a bigger house, two bedroom, yeah. or one bedroom you share, or you have to make them, make sure that you have a shopping that will feed us the whole time. Yeah. So they opened my mind a lot. Like sometimes you, you take chances like that, then it opens your mind to bigger things, you know? Mm -hmm. Because if you're just there in your bed sitter, you just think, oh, I'm just okay with this 30,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you have three other people to take care of, you don't think, no, what will I do next? Mm -hmm. How will I do? Okay. The runner season, I sold, I sold popcorns because all oh. the offices were closed. Yeah. I sold popcorns and it, it paid my rent <laughs> for oh, the wow. whole year. For the whole year? Yeah, it, it paid my rent because I was adding with the half salary they were paying us. Not all, but okay. half. So, in fact, I was very fat. We <laughs> 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 were eating the chicken. The kukumui too. The kukumui too. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> The one they, they, they do it, they, yeah. do it, they yeah. inject with chemicals. Yeah. You used to eat it a lot. Okay. Thankfully, I'm not eating it now. In the <laughs> village, we don't have those chemical things. We just yeah. do natural. Yeah. So, guys, thank you so much for watching till now. That was the amazing story <laughs> of African village yeah. cook.
It's like a movie. It's like a movie. There's so many things I've not said, but we don't need to 